Okay, well, so what's up there, Mock Hedduk? This is JJ Kasenta, your host for today's topic regarding Article 4 of the Code of Ethics for Professional Teachers. So, magandang magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Okay, so this afternoon, we have four discussion po dito po sa topic natin. Okay, along Eduk 2, which is the teaching profession. So, ready ba na ating mga ano yan? Ready na bang ating mga discussions? Tina ko nga. Ayan na sila mga kapatid. So, ayan. Ito yung ano yan. Ito, 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 ito yung mga discussions guys na start pa lang ng klase. Nag-send na sa akin ng PPP. <laughs> Napakadami nilang ano yan. Very industrious tong mga tao. Okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, time check. It's 1.26 in the afternoon. Hindi po kami kaninang umaga nakapag-start. Ginawa namin ngayong hapon kasi <laughs> may umepal na naman. Alam niyo na kung ano yun. <laughs> well, anyway... Um, our topic for today is actually a continuation of uh, Code of Ethics for Professional Teachers in the Philippines, okay? And we're going to discuss, okay, all the way through Article 13, okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, okay, ito po ang ating mga discussion ngayong araw, okay? So, hindi natin patatagalin. So, let's start with the first discussion po, okay? I would like to call on now Miss Francisca and Bubis. Ma'am, hello po, bati ka po muna. Hi po sa lahat. Okay ma'am, so batiin natin ang ating mga classmates at ating at mga kabarangay. Come on! Hi classmates, manood kayo at makinig. At sa kaba- mga kabarangay ko, nood well. <laughs> <laughs> ma'am, from where are you po? Kinali po sir. Iyan man sana pala, ni- po, man sana pala ni Kasalo yung sulong. <laughs> sir, ano? <laughs> okay, so batiin natin ang ating mga kabarangay. Come on! Hello sa mga... Ay. Ano? Ay, sa mga taga-barangay ko. <laughs> okay, so sh- shout out sa mga taga-barangay kinali Pulangi Albay. Tama, Pulangi Albay ba yun? Baka mali yung nasabi ko, ha? Tama? Yes. Okay, so thank you very much, Ma'am Bubis. And we have Ma'am Mikaela Villanueva. Hello, Ma'am. Hello po. Okay, batiin natin, Ma'am, ang ating mga friends, mga kabarangay natin. Come on. Hi, friends. Hi, Umbalio Fam. Ah, oh, si so shout tama apo lang gi Albay. Opo. Okay, so shout out sa mga taga Barangay Ubaliw, Pulang gi Albay. So shout out po sa inyo diyan. So meron tayong dalawang mga uh, discussant na from Pulangi. So how about our next discussants here? Okay, so we have Ma'am Imarine Parma. Hello, Ma'am. Hello, sir. Okay, batiin natin mami mga barangay natin. What's up? <laughs> taga Ubaliw. Ayun, so taga Ubaliw din eh. <laughs> Di man ka mo magkapurok ni Mikaela? Magkapurok po sir, halos magkalapit na ako. Oh, ah, oh, okay, sige. Okay, so batiin natin yung ating ano yan, mga family and friends, no? Di ba ka nandiyan na nalunood sa'yo? Come on, ma'am. Wala po sir. Walang tao dyan, ikaw lang. Ah, okay, so. Ah, so batiin natin ma'am yung mga ating ano yan, mga kapatid mo, friends natin, come on. Hello kay Ma'am Emily, dyan sa BUPC. <laughs> okay, so shout out mo pala sa mga taga administration uh, office. Okay, dyan po sa Bicol University, Pulangi Campus. Okay, so thank you very much, Ma'am Imerine Parma. Okay, so babalikan ka namin mamaya, Ma'am. Okay, at ang our last discussion po natin for today's topic, we have Sir James Harlita Duran. Hello, Sir. Nakanamod to na eh, ka? <laughs> Nakulang <lang's> sa energy. <laughs> oh, sir, patiin natin natin mga kabarangay. Come on. Um, hello sa mga taga-barangay. At sa mga kapasmi. Taga-sayo ni ka, sir? Um, taga-ligaw po, sir. Uh, anong barangay sa ligaw? Uh, bagong bayan po. Ah, okay, so shout out sa mga taga-barangay. Bagong bayan. Tama. Ligaw City. Baka magkabali ako. <laughs> Alright, so thank you very much ating mga discussion for today's topic regarding po sa continuation ng ating Code of Ethics for Professional Teacher in the Philippines. So ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time not to start but bago tayo magsimula, I would like to greet first, yan, sa, sa mga pogi kong ano yan, teacher sa Bicol University. Okay, Ninong! So sir, Maximo Rasal Jr., happy birthday sir! Okay, so God bless and make it all your day. Yan. So, kilala niyo si Rosal. Yan, ang ating administrative officer okay, sa Bicol University, Pulang Campus. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, time check is already 1.30 in the afternoon. And 
We will be right back. Okay, so what's up, Jer Mark? Hey, Dr. Babalik, ang inyong host, Sergio Casensay, at magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Time check is already 1.31 in the afternoon. Shoutout ulit sa aking napaka-pogi nidong, Sir Maximo Rosal Jr. Happy birthday, Sir! Okay, from your inaanak here right now, nag-live streaming kami, Sir. Have a good day po. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, okay? Okay, hindi po umalis yung mga niyan. Kadiscuss ko, okay? Mga co-discussions ko. Baka meron na naman dyan nag-ano yan. <laughs> Baka ni Nervis. Ni Nervis ba kayo? <laughs> okay lang yan. <laughs> okay, so nandito ako to facilitate learning. So, stand by ladies and gentlemen at sisimulan natin ang ating discussion for today's topic regarding sa continuation ng Code of Ethics for professional teachers along the EDUC2 and that is the teaching profession. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to give now the floor to Ma'am Francisca Bubis. Ma'am, it's your turn na po. Hi po. Good afternoon, everyone. My topic is Article 4, A Teacher and the Professions. <clears throat> Section 1. Section 1. Every teacher shall actively ensure that teaching is the noblest profession and shall manifest genuine enthusiasm and pride in teaching as a noble calling. Sa so section 1, kailangan as an educator, actively ensure na ang teaching profession is the noblest profession, tapos they have to manifest genuine enthusiasm sa profession nila. They should also possess pride in teaching as their noble calling, parang they should not look at the teaching na profession lang sila, kundi dapat they also took look at teaching as noble calling in life. Okay. Section Section 2 is, every teacher shall uphold the highest possible standards of quality education, shall make the best preparations for the career of teaching, and shall be at his best at all times and in the practice of his profession. Section 2, teachers shall uphold possible high insults sa pagbibigay ng quality education in order for them to make the best preparations pagpasa na sila sa profession na ito. It is also important na ang teacher shall be at his best at all the times kapag nagtuturo siya. Tama. Oh, nasa, narinig nyo guys, sabi ni ma'am, at his or her best all of the times. Kaya ako di pisili kang gibon. <laughs> di ba? Kung mapansin ninyo, lunes, 100% pa yung baterya ng teacher. <laughs> Abang nag-alin eh, para baba ka. Kaya wala, nang energy ko pa, no? Pagdating ng Friday, lobat na ako. <laughs> Kina ano, Roma, tapos ka ding week, di ba? Palaging alalagay sa ano yan eh. Sa, tawag ba dito? Sa, ano nga yun? Sa live story niya sa Facebook. TGIF. <laughs> Palagi yate. Eh. Thanks God, it's Friday. Okay? So, let's proceed, ma'am. Section 3. Every teacher shall participate in the Continuing Professional Education or SPE program of the Professional Regulation Commission and shall pursue, pursue such other studies as well improve his efficiency, enhance the prestige of the profession, and strengthen and strengthen his compet competence, virtues, and productivity in order to be nationally and internationally competitive. Section 3 states naman that participation in the program containing professional education is important. Also, high, highly encourage din na mag-participate ang teachers sa studies that will help improve one's efficiency and, and enhance the prestige of his profession in order to be nationally and interna internationally competitive bilang teacher. Okay. So, matanong natin ating mga discussant, okay? Ilang CPD points ba ang kinakailangan ng isang teacher para makarinyo ng lisensya? 
Sa tingin nyo, ilan? Ano? More than 10? More than 20? More than 30? More than 40? Come on, guys. Ano sa tingin niyo? Ilan? Ilan na kailangan? 10 years. Ah, sir. Ah? How many? 10 years. Ah, okay. So, malapit na, ma'am. <laughs> Points ang tinutukoy natin, ma'am. Actually, dagdagan mo lang ng lima. So, mga ka-eduk, ah, uh, base doon sa bagong ano yan, sa revised um uh, tawag ba dito um, IRR dito po sa ano yan, CPE or CPD um kinakailangan ngayon ng 15 CPD points to renew a license dati kasi nung una nagkagulat-gulat lahat kami niyan eh pag ano yan pagkapasa niyan sa Senado ang kinakailangan daw namin gawin ng mga teachers yung ano yan in service to ah, yung mga nagtatrabaho sa gobyerno dapat daw 45 CPD points. So, in short, yung CPD points na yun, saan yun makukuha? Sa mga seminars. Kaya nakalagay naman dyan. Eh. So, sabi baga dyan, ang uh, kinakailangan mag ng other studies. So, kung hindi makapag-aral, pwede maka-earn or let's say maka- makakuha ng bagong information yung teachers through seminars. Yun yung palaging nangyayari. Pero, dapat yung nag-conduct ng seminar or let's say yung sponsor ng seminar is accredited by di um, PRC or Professional Regulatory Commission na magbibigay ng CPD points dahil kung hindi wala kang points nagbayad ka pero wala kang ano yan wala kang points so kawawa ka sayang yung bayad mo pero may, may learning yun nga lang hindi ka makaka-earn so ulitin natin mga ka ilan po ang kinakailangan we need 15 CPD points okay let's proceed ma'am section 4 every teacher shall help if duly authorized to seek support from the school but shall not make improper misrepresentations through personal advertisements and other questionable rules. Section 4, right na isang guro ang humingi ng suporta galing sa paaralan kung saan siya nagtuturo. Only if he's duly authorized pero at the teacher shall be re- responsible enough to make to not make improper mis representation gamit ang pansarili niya kagustuhan and other questionable means. Yan. So, mabalik tayo sa pinaka... <laughs> Amo kali so, so turbidy sa ito. Ano, palagi itong ginagawa. Manolicit nga yata, abi, kami. <laughs> ito yung palagi ano yan, ginagawa sa, sa, ano yan, sa school. Pag yung solicitation letter is authorized, permado, coming from the, uh, tawag ko dito, uh, immediate supervisor at Yung nakalagay naman sa letter is for educational purposes, why not? Walang problema doon. Ang nakakatakot kung pampersonal mong ano yan, <laughs> pambakal, makisulusit nga po kami pambakal ning. Ito yung issue ngayon palagi eh, humingi palagi ang teacher ng tulong. Pwede humingi ng tulong pero bawal yung manulisit. Pangdagdag daw sa materials, lalong lalo yung coupon band for printing the modules. Okay? So, pag voluntary yung binigay sa iyo kasi humingi ka ng tulong, why not? Ang nakakatakot kung nambali-bali ka na <laughs> nanulisit ka na. Nabalik ka na pating letter. Oh, magtarabang maraw kaya ka mo yan. Eh, Basta ngayon pang print ngayon sa module. <laughs> yun ang kakatakot. Sa bawal yun. Okay? According to section 4. Right, ma'am? So let's proceed po. Section 5. Every teacher shall use the teaching profession in a manner that makes it dignified means for earning a decent living. Section 5 states that a teacher shall use the teaching profession in a manner that makes it decent. Meaning, as a teacher, dapat sumunod siya sa set of ethical standards and principles for teachers since teaching profession is a, considered as the noble profession. That's Ayon. all. Ayos. So thank you very much, ma'am. So, klarado, klarado po dito, ladies and gentlemen, just to have a little recap regarding this topic. So, mapapansin nyo dito, Article 4 is actually the teacher and the profession. So, ibig sabihin, ang pinag-uusapan sa Article 4 is yung mga dapat ninyong tandaan bilang isang professional na guro. Okay? Sa ngala ng inyong profession. So, titingnan natin ulit. Okay, sabi dito, kanina, we have Section 1. So, this is actually to for... Uh, maintaining our um, enthusiasm okay, as much as possible as a teacher. Okay, so, ibig sabihin, dedicated dapat dito ang teacher. Okay, yun yung nasa section 1. Sa section 2 naman, so, t- sinasabi dito na tayo ay magbigay ng pinakamagandang kalidad ng pagtuturo. Okay, kaya so, kinakailangan natin galingan. Diba? All of the times. <laughs> ay, rock no, no? All of the times. At yung section 3 naman, 
is para tayo makapagturo ng maganda at maayos, okay? Kinakailangan nating mag-seminar at mag-aral ulit. So, hindi naman to guys actually uh, tawag ba dito? Ang uh, required for example, naka-15 naka CPD points ka na. Kung ayaw mo na, okay lang. Pero kung gusto mo pang mag-aral and then gusto pong mag-attend ng seminars, okay? Gamit ang sarili mong pera, okay lang po 'yun, okay? Saka ano 'yan eh? Wala namang kapalit ang matututunan mo, 'di ba? Oh, nagbayad ka pero di nyo alam, it's a good investment. Okay? And so number four po, okay, we have here that um dapat po ang um, lahat ng gagawin ng teacher ay okay, sa ngala ng edukasyon at pagkatuto. Okay, wag mo nang ipakita yung personal na ano 'yan, na personal na <laughs> na interest dito, okay? Kasi baka kayo ay mag-question, okay? At yung panglima naman po is about, okay, yung pagigipong isang disente. Kaya kanina, sabi ko sa inyo, kung pwede, mag-make up kayo. Ito mo pa si Francis ka, ayaw mag-make up eh. Kung pwede, dapat nakaayos yung damit kasi, remember, ang tingin ng tao, lalong-lalo namang sadyante ninyo sa teacher, is napakataas. Na, imagine the noblest profession. So, pag lumabas kayo dyan sa kalye, Kung ika nakasando sa na nakakuan, tapos nakulawan ni Kanis Jan, teacher! Tapos sabi nung gura, mo kaya kan sa teacher mo? Paman ngayon, ng, ng murumuseng na ngaya, hindi niyaram ka to palan kuan. <laughs> Nailinig, o, diba? Nay, naikawa. Pero anyway, kung ako tatanungin, dapat po talaga ang teacher, palagi na ka-uniform. Palagi maganda, or let's say, disente yung damit. Diyan lang po talaga natin makikita na disente yung isang guro. Pero sabi sa section 5 kasi, shall use the teaching profession in a mother makes it dignified for decent living. Ibig sabihin dito, meron kasi dito ang ano yan eh, may contradiction to dun mama sa business. Ang tanong dito natin ngayon sa mga viewers natin, pwede bang yumama ng teacher? ba? Diba? So pwede bang kumita ang teacher na dun yun sa ano yan, teacher and the business. Pero sa section 5 kasi ipinapakita dito na dapat ang guro nagtatrabaho para maging disente. Yun lamang po sa section 5 ang ibig sabihin. So, thank you very much, Ma'am Francisca and Bubis. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, okay, tapos na tayo sa Article 4 at madami pa tayong pag-uusapan. And huwag kayong alis. We'll be right back. Po, sir. Ako na po, sir. School official teachers and other personal for Article 7. Apo. Okay, what's up, Jermaka Edu? Tagbabalik ang yung host, Sage Rika Sensei, and let's proceed now to our next topic. Okay? So, tingnan natin. Ayan. Nawala na naman sila. Ito. Ayan. <laughs> Nakabalik sa problema pag nagla-live streaming eh. O, mag-charge na ulit si, si James. Okay? So, kanina po, napag-aralan natin yung Article 4, The Teacher and His or Her Profession. And right now po, pag-uusapan naman natin is uh, The Teacher and with co-teachers and their ano yan, authorities. Okay? That is related to the teacher. That is Article 7. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our next discussant. We have Ma'am Michaela Villanueva. Ma'am, it's your turn na po. Um, hello po. The main objectives of my discussion po is to discuss and explain Article Number 7, which is the school official, teachers, and other personnel. In Section 1 po, it says that all school officials mm -hmm. shall at all times show professional courtesy, helpfulness, and sympathy towards teacher and other personnel. Such practices being standards of effective school supervision, dignified administration, responsible leadership, and enlightened direction. 
sabi po dito, it is the duty of every teacher po to respect their co-workers and, and extend help and assistance to other school personnel based po sa available time and, and their expertise po. And also po, no matter how high their no matter how high your, your position po, it is your duty as a teacher to respect po who's ano, who's, who's above you po. <coughs> po, po. Kahit po, kahit po nasa mataas na position ka, yung respeto hmm. po, dapat po ibigay pa rin po dun sa mas na kakabat, mas makakababa sa'yo. Kasi po, yung, yung, yung harmony, empathy, and respect po should be the standard practice within the school which should start from the teacher, school personnel, to, administra- to administrator, and vice versa po. Tama. Po. Okay, let's proceed. In section, in section 2 naman po, school officials, teachers, and other school personnel shall consider if their cooperative responsibility to formulate policies or introduce important changes in the system at all levels. It says po na, Teachers should participate in the development of new system and policies for the benefit of the whole school community, especially po sa, sa mga learners po. And, <clears throat> yun lang po. In Section 3 naman po, school officials shall encourage and attend the professional growth of all teachers under them, such as recommending them for promotion, giving them due recognition for meritorious performance, and allowing them to participate in conferences and training programs. In so Section 3 po, there should always be an initiative from the head to encourage all teachers to aim for higher learning through education po. Such school official po should always be vocal in supporting their teacher for their personal growth and um, and dapat po dapat po ina-encourage ng mga school official yung mga teacher po na mag-participate sa mga seminar, conference tapos po um, okay. by, um, tama yung sabi ni ma'am ina-encourage diba? pero hindi kayo pinipilit yung kasing sa CPD, requirements yon Alam nga naman, di ka makakuha ng 15 points. O, oh, hindi ka makarin yung lisensya. Pero pag, yun nga, sabi ko, meron ka na, for example, uh, ngayong taon, for example, sa loob ng dalawang taon, kasi every 3 years, nagre-rin yun ng lisensya. So, nakadalawang taon ka na, meron ka ng 15 points. May isang taon ka pa, ini-encourage ng teacher na, or ng superior mo na, uy, attendan mo nga to. Oo. Sige na, attendan mo to. Tapos sabi mo naman, ikaw naman, masyadong negative. Ay hindi ma, kompleto na ako ng 15 points. Mali. Pag yung superior mo nagsabi sa'yo na, sige na, attendan mo to. Sige lang, okay lang. Damang problema yan. Ito lang pala akong sasabihin. Basta bayad ng eskwila. <laughs> Basta free, di ba? Go for it. Go for it yan. Okay? So let's proceed, ma'am. In section 4 naman po, no school officials shall dismiss or recommend for dismissal at teacher or other subordinates except for a cause. Yung it says po na school official recommending a teacher for dismissal should make sure there is a valid evidence as that teacher have the right to appear and be heard in proper venue following the grievance procedure of their agency. Hmm. So, wala ito yung, pong, ito yung so, sabi ko last time, na kung may mga reklamo sa isang university or educational institution in, in particular, there should always be a grievance committee. Ang grievance committee kasi, sila po yung unang sumasala ng mga reklamo ng mga teacher sa kapwa niya teacher, kapwa niya empleyado. Sabi nga dun sa, art- sa section 1 na dapat harmonyo sa loob, pero ang problema kasi minsan di naiiwasan. Kasi may mga tao talaga, or let's say mga, aram nyo na yun, mga <laughs> mag- 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 magkagalit sa loob ng university. Hindi naiiwasan or sa, sa even in high school or elementary ano yan, institutions. May mga ganun, may mga ganun uri ng hidwaan. Lalo-lalo na kung nagka-iribuga na ngaya. Oo, yun na nakakatakot dyan. Pero, sabi dito, hindi ka pwedeng basta-basta na lang kung ikaw yung superior na magpa-dismiss ng teacher. There should always be a due process. Okay ma'am, let's proceed po. In section 5 po, School authorities concerned shall ensure that public school teachers are employed in accordance with pertinent civil service rules and private school teachers are issued contracts specifying the terms and conditions of their work, provided that they are given if qualified subsequent permanent tenure in accordance with existing law. In, it says po na 
teacher should be given the newer or permanent status provided if she or if he or she is qualified and if there is a available plantilla position they should teacher hmm. should teacher in public school po should be employed based on their rank, ranking hindi ko pa alam kung ano yung ranking hmm. pero po, they should participate po sa ranking system and Tama. while in while in teacher in private school naman po should have a copy of their own contract which is nearly clearly explained to their school heads and this contract po should be according to the rules of the state and the department of education okay so elaborate natin tong maigi kasi dito po nagkakaroon talaga palagi ng tanong lalong lalo sa mga teachers na apply tanong dito is meron bang discretion yung principal ng school na inapplyan mo para makain ka or hindi. If you're going to follow the rules and regulation po, kapag nag ano yan, kapag tawag ba dito, nagkakaroon po tayo ng hiring sa institution or sa DepEd. Okay, for example, sabi kanina ni Ma, merong ranking. Meron po talagang ranking. Pero may discretion, I think, ang principal dyan. Kung sino ang makakapasok sa sa rank 1, sa rank 2, sa rank 3. Ewan ko. Eh, pero ang pinaka-importante dito is ganito. Although nakapasok ka sa ranking, aalamin mo rin kahit papaano kung meron bang present or let's say vacant na position. Is, the, is there a vacant ano yung position? Or open ba yung plantilla for teacher 1? Alangan naman kasi pumasok ka agad, master teacher. <laughs> Social, di ba? Ang lakas ng loob. Although kahit ikaw ay graduate na ng doctor, ikaw ay graduate na ng, ng ano yan, ng tawag ba dito postdoctorate degree master's degree kung ang plantilyang inopen dyan na inapplyan mo is master teacher 1 or let's say teacher 2 lang kahit ikaw ay doktor na dun ka pa rin po papasok kasi sa gobyerno ladies and gentlemen hindi naman dito talaga namin actually ang discriminate kung ikaw ay nakapag-aral ng mataas na or let's say nakagraduate ka na ng even post-study na post-study ano yan courses ang importante dito kasi may bakante May bakante. Eh, ah, problema kung pumapasok ko tapos pinipilit mo yung sarili mo sa posisyon na yun at ang aning daman bakante. <laughs> Di magparapirit. Di adit. Ba't mapaknit. Ayun ang sinasabi natin dito. Kasi may, para, may parang rungan ko. Eh, di man ngayon ako nakalagpon. No, ngayon, nadaya ngayon ako na luto. Hindi po. Nagkataon lang kasi yung posisyon na inapplyan mo, puno. So in short, paano ka makaka-fill up doon? Eh, hintayin mo. Ang, ang, ang importante lang dito, palagi ka magpa-follow up. Dahil pag hindi ka nag-follow up, baka alam yun na yun. Matabunan na naman yung application mo. Ulit ka na naman. Back to zero sa ranking. ba? So, importante na dapat po updated kayo palagi. And then, of course, bantayan nyo yung position. So, akala kasi yung ibang ano yan, mga applicants natin, pag nag-apply na sila, okay na yun. There's a due process. Hindi po. Mas maray man po tabing laki, laki, laki mati man ka more, makiramdam. No, importante, importante yan. Okay? So, thank you very much, ma'am. May kaila? Villanueva. Thank you very much, ma'am. Okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, wag kayong aalis and we will be right back. Si James po, sir. Sir, ako po yung sunod. The Teacher and Business Sir, Article 10. Sir, nag-brown up. Sorry. <laughs> nag-brown up po, sir. Okay, what's up, Jermak Heduk? Nagbabalikan yung host, CJ Kasentai, and maraming salamat sa ating mga viewers today. So, mamaya, tutulungan ako na ating mga discussants sa mga gusto magpa-shoutout. Okay, mamaya-maya na yun. Okay, importante matapos muna natin itong topic natin ngayong hapon with regards to the continuation of 
the Code of Ethics for Professional Teachers in the Philippines. Okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, let's start na po. Bago tayo abutan ni Apple. <laughs> yung isa ka din na wala na. Inikraban ba sa ako? Lauda na naman si James. Yung kayo na po ka din. Bata na ano yan. Ang ganda na nung susunod natin topic. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, our next nating discussion is about teacher and the business. So napakaganda nito. Na yung tanong ko kanina, pwede bang yumaman ang teacher sa pagtuturo? Actually, hindi. Pero titingnan natin. Baka merong, baka meron ditong ano yan, loophole. <laughs> titingnan natin. So baka yung teacher pwede pong kumita kahit pa paano habang nagtuturo. Okay, so let's proceed po dito sa ating next discussion. Babalikan natin si Ma'am Francisca. Ma'am Francisca, it's your turn po. Article 10. Section 1. A teacher has the right to engage directly or indirectly in legitimate income generation, provided that it does not relate to or adversely affect his work as a teacher. Ah, paano to, ma'am? Sige, explain mo to. On the Code of Ethics Section 1, teacher can do another job or have income unless it is not related or affecting to teaching job. If the teacher fails to follow the section and got confused which will come first, it will give negative effects to the teacher as well as to the students, school, and of course the parents. So, the teacher should follow to the section to give more effective teaching as a profession, professional teacher. If you choose and do the right thing, then it will make you a good teacher. If a teacher always considers step and continues to follow the section one, that is the time that the teacher can have extra work without giving any disadvantages mm. to the student, the school, and the parents. Oh, klarado naman yun. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, okay, to further elaborate this, klarado naman sabi ni Mami, eh, pwede ka pong kumita pa? Yun nga lang, wala dapat conflict. Ito yung pinaka-term dyan eh. For example, gusto mo mag-part-time, di ba? Mag-part-time sa isang business mo. For example, may sarili kang ano yan, karinderya, may sarili kang uh, computer shop, whatsoever. Okay? Pagmamayari mo yun, walang problema. Yung nga lang, iba dapat yung namamalakad noon. Ikaw may-ari. Pero, for example, nagtuturo ka ngayon, tapos ikaw nagbabantay doon sa shop mo, hindi yung pwede. Huwag <laughs> pwede. O kaya ganito, gusto mong mag-part-time, may extra income ka, part-time ka sa kabilang university or kabilang school. Okay? Tapos, sa nagkataon, yung oras mo dito, meron ding oras doon, hindi po pwede. Ano, kakagibunshin? Hindi yan pwede. <laughs> Ibig sabihin, nagsusweldo ka sa isang ano yan, sa isang oras, tapos sumusweldo ka pa sa isang oras, na isa lang naman talaga dapat yung papasukan mo. Alright, di pwede yun. <laughs> okay, so importante na dapat hindi maapektuhan yung pagturo natin sa ngalan po ng pagkita. Pwede pong maging, pag, pwede pong maging businessman ng isang teacher. Yun nga lang, Bapat po, susundin niyo yung rules and regulation, lalong-lalo na po dito sa Article 10, Section 1. Sabi ba ka dyan, does not relate to or adversely affect your work. Uh, yun lang naman yun. So, tanong ito. Matanong ko ang mga discussant natin. Pwede bang magtinda si teacher sa loob ng classroom? Yes or no? Oh, de, 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 joke. No offense. Pwede bang mag, magbenta ng kung ano? si teacher sa loob ng classroom. Come on. Kasi meron na kayo na experience nito. Opo. Pero taramihan po, oo. Okay, sabi mo na. No. Okay. May lusot dyan, ma'am eh. Tingin na, usisain natin mabuti. Kalarado naman dito, sabi naman dyan, a teacher has the right to engage. May karapatan siya. Okay? Directly man yan or indirectly in a legitimate income generation. Ibig sabihin nun, dapat po yung business mo ha, legitimate. Ngayon, Okay? Provided that it does not relate to or adversely affect his or her work. Tanong. Pag recess ba pwede si Ma magbenta? Yes or no? Yes po, sir. <laughs> yes or no? Yes. Exactly. Pwede. Pwede siyang magbenta. Pwedeng pwede po. Kasi, hindi naman siya nagtuturo pag recess. Kaya nga, recess, di ba? Ibig sabihin, oh, yan ay ano yan, yan ay tinatawag na half time break sa ano yan, sa umaga or sa hapon. So, ibig sabihin, pahinga. So, pwede dyan mag magbenta yung teacher ng kung ano. Yun nga lang, okay? Patapusin mo na yung klase. Siba kaya minsan kayo, na ne klase na, naipon pa sa nagpabirik na nung <laughs> palibutin nyo nung <laughs> yung bawal yon Kasi, paano mo matuturoan ng tama yung bata? Pwede ka pong magbenta or let's say, to do, for example, online work kapag recess. For example, you are a online seller. 
Pwede ka pong mag-sell pag recess. Pero pag magkaklase na, wag na po. Hindi pwedeng multitasking. Kawawa yung learners. Pwede pala siya sa section 1. Let's proceed ma'am section 2. Section 2. A teacher shall maintain a good reputation with respect to the financial matters such as in the settlement of his debts and loans in energy, arranging satisfactorily his private financial affairs. According, mm. according, <coughs> section 2. The teacher shall maintain a good image as a, as a teacher and as a good role model. <coughs> Klarado naman to, mga kapatid. Kahit hindi ko na explain alam nyo ibig sabihin na ito, Pag kayo nagka-utang, magbayad kayo. <laughs> Tapos lang yun. Loans, debts, utang yan, lahat yan. Or let's say, obligations to pay. Yun yung mga debts. Pag nag-loan ka, siguro do it bong, magbabayad ka. Anyway, uh, ngayon guys, uh, all schools are computer-generated ang system. Ibig sabihin, pag nag-loan ka sa isang bangko, automatic na yun. May deduction doon sa inyong sweldo. Kaya sa ATM card ninyo, binabawas na yun. Kaya pag nakita nyo ATM nyo, ba't wala ng laman, ay, uh, na, na, binawas na nung bangko. <laughs> Tanagulpin yung loan. ba diba? Sabi ng mga teacher na, loan down, loan dito. Yeah, let's proceed, ma'am. Section 3. No teacher shall act directly or indirectly as agent of or be financially interested in any commercial venture which furnish, furnish textbooks and other social commodities in the purchase and disposal of which he can exercise official influence except only when his assignment is inherently inherently, inherently related to of which of such searches and disposal provided they shall be in accordance with existing regulations provided further and that, that members of duly recognized teachers cooperative cooperatives may participate in the distribution and sale of such commodities According to the Code of Ethics for Professional Teachers, the teacher should not use the class as a mar marketing place. The teacher shall should not accommodate students to buy things that are not related to the topic or studies. If the teacher force a let or let the, the student buy, this, buy these things that are not related to the topic or studies, the students and the parents will feel uncomfortable due to those marketing of the teacher and it will lead the class or does go into the court. That's all po. <laughs> Thank you very much, ma'am. May naalala ko dito eh. <laughs> the networking. <laughs> oh guys, open-minded mo kayo. <laughs> yes po. P P <laughs> pwede kayo guys, actually, if you're if you're part of networking, ano yan, uh, companies, pwede kayo pong mag, ano yan, mag-recruit sa labas ng classroom. <laughs> Bukong salig pa sana. Okay guys, good morning. I have here a proposition for you if you're open-minded. Uh, wag ko gagawin yun. Kasi bawal yun under Section 3 of Article 10. Okay? Pwede po kayong maging ano yan, networking agent. Wala nang problema doon. Basta legitimate yung ano discount. And then, if you're going to do that, it's actually generating income and you're motivating, motivating students to earn while learning. Diba? Wala nang problema doon. Basta wag habang nagtuturo. O for example, nagtapos yung klase, uwi na. Or let's say, tapos itong klase ngayon. Tapos sabi ko sa inyo, okay guys, kung hindi kayo busy, try to visit this site, okay? So, meet tayo, may mga ganyang uri ng ganyan. Okay lang yan. Okay lang yan. That's under section 3. Okay po. So, thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, nabalik tayo yung screen, ma'am, Francisca, and Bubis. Thank you very much po, ma'am. And our next discussion po is... Sino susunod? Ikaw na, Aimee. Okay, si Ma'am, I'm Marina po, okay? So, thank you very much po uh, sa ating discussion, Ma'am Francisca. Ladies and gentlemen, wag kayong alis. We'll be right back. Article 11 po, sir. Sir, magpapulit po ako, sir, kasi laging nag-out. Magpapulit na account, sir. Ako po, sir. Wala rin nawawala, sir. Wala naman po, sir. Sige.
Okay, what's up, Jerma Kedug? Thank you very much for watching our Bura Bura live stream ngayong hapon. And time check is already 2.5 in the afternoon. So, matatapos namin to <laughs> within another 25 minutes. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm now giving the floor to our next discussant. And we have Ma'am Imerine Parma. Ma'am, it's your turn na po. So, hello everyone. Hello viewers. I'm the discussant for today. And I will discuss about the teacher as a person by Article 11. Teacher is the builder of nation. He is a prestigious person in the society. We have so many expectations from a teacher, ranging from his role in classroom environment to his role as a citizen of the country. As a pivotal person in the process of education, a teacher is supposed to be performing different tasks. So from the section one, a teacher is above all, a human being endowed with life for which it is the highest obligation to live with dignity at all times, whether in school, in the home, or elsewhere. As we can see the pictures below, it is, the, uh, it is defined that the characteristics of a teacher as a person has or should have. One is a strong communication. Strong communicators are also similar to smart thinking or good communicators. The proper hand gestures and eye-to-eye -eye contact. Next is listening well. Means having the patience to hear someone out. It means being able to restate someone else's words, thoughts, and opinions even if you may not agree with them. Focus on collaboration. It makes us more efficient workers. Adaptable. Adjusting to new conditions in order to deal with new conditions. Engaging. It is also known as attracting or delighting. The more you are presentable, the more students will attract you. Hmm. Tama yung sabi ni ma'am. Uh, tama yung sabi ni ma'am. The more you are attractable, <laughs> the more learners will learn. Tama man. Alam mo ka naglugi kayo sa ako. Di ba sa'yo nga nangusay-usay ni Mbog? Nakurek maunay ka. Ay, wala lalapit ba siyong estudyante? Jesus, <laughs> kumariusip kaya kaya nahilog nga yung kwan, kapay, alabado. ba kaya da, dapat yung teacher talaga ay, di naman sa ano yan, kung pwede, palaging maganda. Ah, kung, kung pwede, palaging pogi. Kasi tama yun sabi ni ma'am, it will attract more learners. Okay, let's proceed ma'am. Ano pa yun? Next is lifelong learners. It can help you understand how the world works and also it can help you reala realize your passion and boost creativity. Next is share best practices, value real world learning. The more you share real experience, the more you can easily connect to them. Sabi nga po, diba, the, um, experience is the best teacher, so you uh -huh. can remain calm. So dun po, kapag yung students alam na yung natutunan sa teacher yung experiences nila, malalaman na ng students kung ano yung dapat nilang gawin na hindi sila um, nag overreact dun sa isang situation na yun. Next is having a patience. It means tolerance of provocation without responding in disrespect or anger. And lastly, show empathy. It un understand what the student is going through. So, doon po sa showing empathy, may karamihan, hindi ko naman sa nila lahat, pero karamihan po sa mga teachers po, di ba kasi, um, ano? nagja-judge sila sa mga students without, ano, hindi nila alam kung ano yung pinagdadaanan ng students. Ayo, oh, yung bagay niyan talaga, lalo nga yung online for, learning. <laughs> for example po, lalo na nga yung online learning. Kapag hindi po nakapagpas ng activities or kung ano, automatic bagsak, automatic. Ay, may ganon? Opo, may Ay, ganun? Karami, may ibang teacher na gano'n. Yung masyadong ano, strict kung mag ano, without um, knowing kung ano yung ano, pinagdadaanan ng students. Ako kasi ano yan eh. Um, siguro may point ka ma'am kasi baka stressful na rin sila. Kaya di, di na nila na, na tawag ba dito. Hindi na masyadong upright yung decision. Ako last time sabi ko, mga mga ganyang bagay, pag taga kurukitan, if the majority wants something that is good for them, then go for it. We are in a democratic country. But anyway, with, okay, with the consent of everybody, and then, with the consent, of course, with the teacher. Minsan kasi ganito, ang nangyayari kasi minsan sa teacher is, 
ang pinapairan nila yung uh, tawag ba dito? Yung mga prinsipyo nila sa buhay. Those are principles na natutunan nila. But, remember, principles might be good for one particular incident, but not all. Okay? So, ang pinaka-the best talaga sa teacher, yan, nakalagay naman dyan. Sabi ni mo, ang klarado naman dyan eh. ba diba? Share best practice and lifelong learn. Sabi, tama yun ma'am na dapat, kung pwede, uh, tawag ba dyan? Kung pwede lang, okay? Kung ngaon muna ka ng estudyante, tapos, makiramdam si estudyante. Kasi ako, lagi rin akong estudyante. ba diba? Lagi rin akong estudyante. Tapos, ngayong pandemic, uh, kung pwede, ang teacher po, mag-adjust din. Para sa inyong mga ka-eduk, sa inyong mga learners, there should always be a collaboration with the teacher and the students, not actually a disruption. Tatandaan nyo palagi, we have teaching and learning process. Pag yan in-spell ninyo, mayroon nakalagay doon na kuha ito. Kabit yan, teaching learning process. So, ibig sabihin, pag yung teacher na wala nang ganang magturo, dama estudyante. Kapag yung estudyante naman, hindi na matuto, dama yung guro. They go hand in hand. Kaya payo sa ating mga kaguruan ngayon, lalong-lalo sa pandemic, ako po, be flexible and adjustable. Yun lamang po. Let's proceed, ma'am. Next, from the section 2. A teacher shall place premium upon self-discipline as the primary principles of personal behavior in all relationship with others and in all situations. The more na may discipline na po sa sarili mo, the more din na mas mapapadali yung pagdisiplina mo sa mga students. Tama. Ano nga yun? Yung ano tawag ba dito? Ipahagi natin dito yung golden rule. Do not do unto others what... Uh, ano nga yun? <laughs> Tapusin nyo nga yung ano yan? Yung... Huwag mong gawin sa'yo. Huwag mong gawin sa iba kung ayaw mong gawin sa'yo. Yeah, tinagalo. Thank you very much, ma'am. So, in this way, a teacher shall place premium upon the self-discipline. <laughs> Nakikita nga ni ikang dapat sa'yo ikaw gali. <laughs> Natural. <laughs> si si ma'am nga di pala nga sir, nga di pala nga gasokasta na. Oh, tara nga yung ikaw. May mga doon. Diba? So, dapat, kung pwede lang, kung maaari lang, iwas gulo. Ang... Um, as much as possible, ang teacher po dapat ang facilitator, uh, uh, facilitator of learning and prom promoter of peace and understanding sa loob ng classroom. Kahit sa online class. So dapat, yung teacher, pag mga may ganitong uri ng mga sitwasyon, wag mo na mag-flare up. So, hindi ba ganun? So, nagkairingot na. Ako, sa, for example, sa inyo, it, hindi ko pwedeng gawin na magalit ako sa inyo sa online class. Alam nyo kung bakit? Hindi ko alam kung nandyan kayo. Lalo na kung wala ka, hindi kayo naka-open ng camera. Di ko arang pinahingi sa inyo ako. Yung masang mga ganong bagay. So, pag ikaw nag-flare up, yari ka, lugi ka. Tapos, ikaw, tapos, ito pa ang pakulit dyan, eh, record yung estudyante. <laughs> tapos, tapos makita mo na lang, nakapost na lang sa ano, social media, di ba? So, ang pangit bilang isang guro, upon giving yourself, let's say, uh, more priority than your students, no, it, it, it must go hand in hand. So, dapat disiplinado ka rin. Okay? Para gumay yung estudyante. Okay? Let's proceed, ma'am. Thank you. Next, from the section 3. A teacher shall maintain at all times a dignified personality which could serve as a model worthy of, emu of emulation by learners, peers, and all others. More is caught than taught. Kung ano yung, <laughs> kung ano yung pinapakita mo sa students mo, Siyempre, so, obviously, ganun din yung gagawin din nila. Ganun, ganun din yung gagayahin nila. So, oh. always, ano po, pakita yung pagiging, ano, good role model sa students. Tama yun, nakalagay dyan, more is caught than taught. <laughs> ako, isa ako dyan, sample dyan eh. Kaya hindi ako nagpapatronize na palaging early. Kasi isa, ako, isa rin ako sa late. <laughs> okay, sige, let's proceed, ma'am. Next. A teacher shall always recognize the Almighty God as guide of his own destiny and of the destination destinies of men and nations. Yun po, syempre, always na always na pinadapat ng muna si God. Pa, doon na din nagko-connect yung self-discipline mo tapos pagiging um, good role model mo po. 
Okay. Ayos. Thank you very much, ma'am. So, ladies and gentlemen, napaka-detalyado, napakalinaw na explanation ni ma'am. So, dito po sa section 4, ang tanong ko sa inyo, mga kaguruan, okay, my dear students, kayo ba ay nagdarasal? It's either bago matulog or pagkagising sa umaga na, Lord, monora kung tabangan mo akong magtuturong tultul nga na, takapon kaya medyo sala-sala ako, kapon kaya medyo da ako sa wish you. Okay, Meron ba ganyan? O let's say, sa, kayo mga student, the Lord, ano ba yung pagkakamali ko ngayong araw bago ako matulog? Ire-reflect nyo sarili ninyo. Are you doing that? Seldom? Sometimes? <laughs> ano sagot nyo? Nagdarasal ba kayo? Yan ang tanong. Hoy! <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, po, sir. Araw-araw po, sir. Ayan. Importante kasi, tama yung sabi ni ma'am, God first. Above all, Kasi, minsan kasi, tao rin tayo, di, di natin alam na meron tayong nagawang mali. And then, to reflect upon ourselves bago tayo matulog, bago tayo pumikita ating mga mata before we go to sleep, at least, ma-realize mo na may ginawa kang tamo or mali ngayong umaga or let's say ngayong araw. So, what import, what is ano yan, significant in this section is that before anything else, bago ka magturo, pagkatapos mo magturo, marunong ka magpasalamat sa Panginoon. Yun lamang po. Thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, nawala na naman yung isa. Thank you very much, ma'am. I'm Maureen Parma. Okay, well said, ma'am. And ladies and gentlemen, okay, paganda ng paganda ating topic. So, huwag kayong aalis and we will be right back. Hindi na, sir. Ibabat na ako. Um, ano po, sir? Article 11, ayan o, Article 12 to 13 po. So, back now. 6%. Okay, sumakay, nagbabalik ang inyong host, Seiji Kasensai, and good afternoon to everyone. So, time check is already 2.18 in the afternoon. Ang sabi ng ating next discuss at nakuli natin discuss at dalian na daw natin dahil siya ay malulobot na. <laughs> at yun discuss natin. Ayan. Malulobot na. <laughs> sabi ni Sir James, malulobot na. Okay, so let's proceed this mga ka So Sir James, it's your turn. <clears throat> so hello guys, pwede mo yung James. So ang napunta sa akin ay Article 12, Disciplinary Action. Next slide po sir. So let's identify first the meaning of Disciplinary action is a repeated man or co corrective action is response to employee misconduct, rule, violation, and poor performance. So meaning of that is um, pagsaway o pagwasto sa pagkidos sa maling gawi ng empleyado o paglabag sa panuntunan o hindi magandang ganap. Yeah. Sa, okay, um, let's proceed, sir. So section 1, dahil... Ano? Section 1 lang naman talaga. So, any violation of provision of the codes shall sufficient ground for the imposition against the hearing teacher of the disciplinary action consisting of... Yan. Ito na yung mga ka-eduk. Ito na yung mga tatandaan ninyo hmm. kasi importante importante ito sa atin. Ano ba yung... Hmm, ano ba yung response sa violation natin kung tayo nag-violate ng code of ethics? So, let's proceed, sir. Ito na yun. Mag-expose. Ano, revocation of certificate registration yeah. and license as professional teacher. Nako. Ano po ito? Disensya ng isang teacher. Ayan. Tapos? And suspension of practice of teaching profession. May Nako po. Na Nako. Oh. Matindi, di ba? Isa lang ma-violate dito. Nako po. Pwede mawala ng lisensya. Ito pang malupit. Blacklisted ka. Hindi ka na po mawaring magturo. Kahit ikaw po'y wala ng silensya, hindi ka pwede magturo kasi pwede kang ikasa ulit because you are actually um, ano yan, violating again the um, rules and regulation regarding sa um, Article 13. Okay? Or let's say sa Code of Ethics. So, pag nawalan ka ng lisensya, hindi ka na po talaga makaturo. Or, pwede ka magturo, pero patago. <laughs> patago. Hindi ka pwede mahuli kasi yari ka. Okay? Yari ka Civil Service Commission and sa PRC. Let's proceed, sir. Abusing, I hindi po. Um, example of the common, common for suspension and revocation of 
license is abusing or harassing a, a student. Meaning, uh, meaning yun, example, ang um, nagpinahiya mo ang pinahiya mo ang isang tit, isang estudyante na hindi nagawa siyang mali. Yeah. Yari tayo dyan. Uh-huh. Yeah. Tapos? Accepting grips of... Nako! <laughs> ang binihiya. Bayaran. <laughs> Ay, nako suhol. Nako. Sana wala na ito ngayon, ha? <laughs> Sana wala na. Sana, ano yan, um, aware na mga teachers dito, na delikado yan. Okay, let's proceed, sir. Having an improved relationship with student, ang um, pagkakaroon ng relasyon sa is- isang sudyante, na inverno di edad po siya. Kaso rin po yan. And ano yung tumutunog? <laughs> Lobot na. <laughs> Hindi po sir yung basura po. Ah, yes track. Oh, sige, let's proceed. And legally acquiring properties and owned by school also engaged in their license. Um kagaya po nito ay libro. Hindi bag po kailangan ang kinin ng isang picture. Kami <laughs> tayo. <laughs> ah, oh, tago do eh. Ay, uh, ma'am, kay pa mga ya kay may gamit. Ta naman nga ay salamat sa ako na. <laughs> Dara ko sa baldoy pang dekorar. <laughs> mga ganyan. Lalo-lalo na yung mga yan, mga projects ng estudyante. That project is supposedly um, uh, given by the students um, for the beautification or let's say for the conducive learning environment inside the classroom. So, <laughs> pag wala nang pasok, huwag mong dalhin sa bahay. <laughs> Kakaloba mga ganyan eh. Okay, sir, let's proceed. So, next is article number 13. Effectivity. Yan. This code shall approve, approve, about, approve by the Professional Regulation Commission and shall affect 60 days following publication in the official gazette and any newspaper in general circulation which is ready. So, ang ano dito, dahil kailangan natin effectivity kasi hindi basta-basta matatanggalan ang isang teacher ng lisensya kung hindi natin, hindi galing sa Um, ano, sa professional regulation communication yun. Yan. Okay. Oh my God, dapat na. So, consult of consult ethic for professional teacher. Ano po yun? Seek information from advice from professional teacher. Next sec. Recognize each children, different culture and beliefs. Respect the rights and dignity of student in expressing his or her opinion. Pag-usahin ko na kasi dobo na ako, sir. Go, go, go! <laughs> um, hindi, ang ano dito, kailangan nating respetuin ang beliefs o tradisyon ng kanilang kultura. Dahil magkakaiba po tayong kultura. Tama. And dito, um, dignity ng student expressing her opinion. Hindi walang maling sagot dahil it's your cup. Next slide po, sir. Respect all authorities. Dito po, fast. Ito yung, ano, disciplinary action. Para, dahil mm-hmm. i-respectuin natin ang lahat ng respect ng um, um, authorities para hindi po tayo matanggal ng disensya. Yeah. And always carry the dignity of being a teacher in all places and mm. all times. Oh, yan. Yeah. Kung ka man sa public pay place o sa hmm. bang lugar, kailangan hawak mo ang dignidad ng isang donut teacher. Okay. So every teacher shall upload, upload and highest possible standard quality education shall make the best preparation of every teaching. So hmm. bibigay nila ang the best nila as a teacher para sa mga estudyante. Okay. And that's is... Do what you love and love what you do. Ayun. Meaning yun, mal, hindi yung gusto mo lang ang kalangan, bahalin mo ang pagiging teacher at anihin mo rin ang gawain ng teacher. <coughs> hindi yung sapilitan ka lang. Ayan. Ano sir? Ma-ship? Ayan ka po per se. Ano? Mag-ship ka ba? <laughs> Hindi na po, sir. Alright. Oh, yun, yun. Uh, pinanindigan mo na yan, ha? Sa harap ng mga tao ngayon, dito po sa ating Bura Bura livestream. Thank you very much, Sir James. 
Taduran. Sir, maraming salamat po. And ladies and gentlemen, dito na po nagtatapos ang ating discussion for today's topic regarding po sa continuation na mga articles dito sa Code of Ethics for Professional Teachers. I hope you learned something guys sa ating mga discussion for today's topic. Maraming salamat po, discussants. Okay, meron pa pa kayo discuss? Ha? Huh? Wala na? Wala Ayos. Na. Kasi si Sir, ano yung palo, but na? So, ladies and gentlemen, okay, it's time now for shoutouts at ating mga word of thanks. So, let's start first with Ma'am um, Francisca. Ma'am, huling bati po. Come on. Salamat, Sir. So, ay, salamat sa mga nakinig. Yan ako, Sir. All right, thank you very much, Ma'am Francesca. Jan sa ating kalapit na barangay sa barangay, Hinali, Ulangi Alba. Thank you very much, Ma'am. And Ma'am Mikaela Villanueva. Ma'am, huling bati po. Thank you po sa mga nanonood. Thank you din po sa inyo, Ma'am. Okay, thank you very much, Ma'am um, Mikaela Villanueva. And Ma'am Imerine. Huling bati, ma'am. So, hello again, everyone. Thank you po sa lahat ng mga nanood at nakinig. And also, don't forget to subscribe to Sir Shady SM. Alright! <laughs> Ayos! So, nag-vlog na si ma'am. Maraming salamat, <laughs> ma'am. Um, I'm Irene Parma. Thank you very much, ma'am, for your detailed discussion. And ang last natin discussion, Sir James, bago pa low uh, Thank you. Thank you sa mga viewers and thank you rin sa APEC. <laughs> Okay, so thank you very much Ladies and gentlemen, sila po ating mga discussion na bubuo sa ating topic ngayon regarding the Code of Ethics for Professional Teacher Okay, once again, we have Ma'am Francisca N. Bubis We have Ma'am Micaela Villanueva Okay We have Ma'am Imerine Parma And we have Sir James Harley Tadoran. Yan. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope natuto kayong lahat. Shout out po sa lahat ng BTLED 1A na maurag ko do. Alright. So, yun ang palaking sabi ng mga, ano, mga sudyante ito. Ha? Ayos. So ladies and gentlemen, okay, this is Cedric Asensay. At nag-iiwan sa inyo ng isang katagang in this time of pandemic. Laging tatandaan para matuto ng malapit. Yeah, adit. Bad mapaknet. Thank you very much guys. Congratulations. And have a good day. Bye-bye. Ingat. Keep safe lagi. Bye-bye. I'm charged. Kompata ko. 1%. Oh, shout out.